guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we have a kind of different gameplay here. Uh, this was just a random match online, but it is 3v3 Shipmaster. Uh, so I thought this would be an interesting gameplay to upload. Uh, hopefully, um, in the next day or so, I will finish up. I'll, I'll start back up with the deck profiles. I know the beta will be ended by the time I get to Cutter, but I do feel like I should finish those out. And I do still have a ton of Halo Wars 2 gameplay. So there may be some Halo Wars 2 gameplay coming up in the future with just music or just the raw gameplay. I'll probably upload those late at night or early in the morning, something like that. Uh, but here we go. 3v3 Shipmaster, um, interesting, interesting gameplay, um, because usually, you know, usually at least someone has something different. Now, we did have some different starting armies. This guy had, uh, the starting army of Ghosts, which is not the preferred starting, it's faster, like, I'll give you that, it's a faster army, but it's not, like, the Marauders are so much more powerful. They're just so much better of a of a unit. So I don't. I've never really gotten the point of using the ghost, um, but I do chase the ghost here. Um, I was not gonna let him out of there because he was trying to run from point to point to capture him as we he went. Um, but I wanted to get at least some of his ghosts out of there. Uh, and this guy actually has a full army up there, so we're gonna retreat back to uh, A. But our units got caught. Like you can see our units are just stuck on each other, his units and mine. And they were like having horrible mapping uh, because we were both trying to send them back to A and they just weren't going. So we just decided to hold the fort and fight it up here because our units weren't getting out of the area. So might as well sit and fight. And this is something that I've got a lot better at as I've played Halo Wars 2 the beta uh, is really pincering their units. You know, when you're up and fighting them from the front, don't keep dropping on the front. Drop some in the back, drop them behind them. Um, I think it just gives you a better, um, it, gives, it just gives you a better shot to win the the one-on-one -on -one engagements. Uh, you can see here I'm dropping behind again. Uh, it's just something that I've really come to the conclusion is something good to do, uh, is just to keep dropping behind uh, and fighting them that way, because then their attacks like explosives and stuff like that, or ranged attacks, can't be hitting multiple units at once, or they can't be hitting your whole army at once, I guess that's the more... That's a more reasonable term, I should say, I guess, is that they won't be hitting your whole army at once. They'll be hitting partial of your army, but they won't be killing your whole army with one with one fail swipe of their attack. Like, one good barrage from a blister back won't deal damage to every unit uh, and stuff like that. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. But uh, you can see simple setup, our usual setup. Now, I think I have a new setup that I'm going to show you guys. Um, we did win a couple of games with it, so I think it is a decent strategy. We only played a couple of games. We went... 2-0 with the strategy, I believe, so it, it has a little bit of test, but they were good players. I think we we beat a rank, two rank 9s and a rank 12, and not necessarily does that mean they're good, but they played it enough. They do have an understanding of the game, I hope, if they're that high a level, so we it's not like we beat a bunch of level 1 scrubs. Um, we did beat some actually halfway decent players, uh, and then we beat a rank 18 with it, which... I don't get it, if you suck as a rank 18, why would you keep playing the game? Like, this game mode is super frustrating when you lose, because you just get you just get bodied in this game mode if you're losing. Um, but with, if you win, obviously it's more fun, but when you just get beat, it just feels like you got bodied and you're just getting embarrassed over here. And that's the most annoying part about it, uh, is that you just feel like you're getting like, extremely bodied by the opponent. Uh, here is a little bit of an interesting thing. We're gonna split this energy. I believe he got two and I got one, uh, which is horrible. I should have been dropping more troops down on it, but I wasn't paying attention. It is, it is a really multitasking thing when you're fighting and then you have to deal with trying to remember to collect the energy. Usually I'm not in charge of collecting energies, but I did say I'd get this one over here, which is my bad because I didn't get it. Um, but the strategy, I'll go over it further in a video, but it's really just load up the ridge. I think that's what I'll call it. Load up the ridge uh, between B and C with Blisterbacks and Locust, but I'll have some gameplay on that in the future. This is still the, the basic strategy of collect the energy and then overwhelm them, which is slowly, slowly becoming a harder strategy to pull off. It's still it's still viable, uh, but it is becoming harder. People aren't as dumb as they were. They're not letting you just completely overpower them anymore, so... Do keep that in mind with that strategy it did. I told you to go out of date eventually, and it's getting close to being out of date. Uh, because now people are on to it, and they're taking the two points, and then they're holding the two points for free, and splitting more energy with you, making it harder for you to completely uh, wipe them 
uh, and take a point back and then fully hold it for the remainder of the game uh, in order to win. Uh, here we're setting up our uh, attack. I believe we're setting it up to quickly move in. Now I realized here quickly before we moved out that they had a full setup waiting to move in on A. So I decided um, to keep an eye on them and move my troops back onto A uh, while they moved onto C or onto B. But they actually got a scare about, which made this really interesting, is because they got a scare about. So we had to delay. Uh, and as you can see, time is ticking down. Only 35 more points they needed in order to, to win. And I'm kind of keeping an eye on, um, trying to keep an eye on the Scarab as we move back and then spawn to heal up. I, my, uh, we have a fight going on at A, which is crucial because we can't lose it because they're at 177. Now they're at 178, 179. Uh, we need to hold it. Uh, and I'm about to have my Scarab Assault to be able to drop it down. And so here we go, we're going to make our full push towards B, and then I'm going to Scarab Assault. I believe I Scarab Assault. No, I don't Scarab Assault on it. Well, maybe I do. I forgot where I Scarab Assault. Yeah, I Scarab Assault onto A, so fully clear them out to make sure we get it. Uh, B is wide open, so we get to move in on that. And you guys can see here, they have a mini setup on the ridge that I like, that I was talking about. They have one blister back and one Locust, but obviously I'm going to have way more than that when I show you guys that video. Uh, I have a really good video that showcases it. It is a loss uh, because it was a 1v2, but I may show it anyway because I think it does have its purpose. It does have, it does have some, and not educational value, but it does have some value um, even though I lost it. But it was a 1v2, so do keep that in mind. But it does show that very well, and you can see 197 is their score. And so we can't let them get any more points. We cannot let them sneak through and grab A, so we have to leave an army there. We can our forces on B, so this makes it really, really interesting here. Um, I believe that is their Scarab dropped in. Um, and so we literally just have to hold the fort. And so here we go, I'm going to select all my troops and move them onto C. They've left C wide open. And I'm going to quickly drop a Locust in there to grab the point uh, as early as possible. And you can see... Our score is slowly climbing back into this, but we their Scarab really put quite a damper into it, and we got a Scarab onto B as well, which is really slowing up their Scarab and keeping us in this game. You can see an army at the top moving in on the minimap. You can see they're moving in a small army onto A, but it's nothing special, nothing able to get there. And so I'm going to drop, leave a drop of chopper here to go and grab this energy, uh, because we still have a full climb back into this. We're only at 60 points. Um, and we literally can't have them get any of them here, so I need to wait for the cooldown to go there until I can pick those up with my character. Um, I believe he picked them up finally there, but here they come moving in on me, and we fully secure B. We have the partial secure at A, uh, just waiting on their Scarab to go away. Uh, and this, the crazy things about this is that we couldn't leave the point. We had to eat their Scarab attacks. We just had to eat them. We couldn't run away. We couldn't... We couldn't do anything like that. We had to fight them. And here they are kind of just... Now they're starting to panic with their Scarab. They have their Scarab, but they don't have any troops. Uh, and they're starting to panic a little bit here. Um, they start trying to build armies back at their base, but time is time is quickly moving in our favor with us up to 80 points and 3 points as soon as their Scarab disappears, which we're waiting on. They're going to take A here, which is no problem. They're not getting any points for it. And so their Scarab finally disappears, and I believe we move in and we do take A again, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think we were trying to decide who wanted to go take A, but we actually decided to wait. Uh, they're going to push the push the, uh, the envelope here on to B, uh, and we can win with two points, so we weren't too concerned. And now I'm going to delay them here. I'm going to force them back uh, with my Ghost there. Um, just, just an added... Uh, just an added obstacle for them when they were moving in and it did a little damage and it forced them to run away and i think at this point we decided a wasn't a big deal they're going to go up top and try to get the, the collectors get our units away from the collectors but at this point we raked in so much economy and our armies are so big compared to theirs that it's not even a big deal you can see i'm moving my locust up onto the ridge like this was a strategy that i tried to employ uh before but it, it's like so much more effective with a blister pack like it's 10 times more effective with a blister bag, and so that's why I haven't really explained that tutorial yet, but I will here in the coming days. Um, I'll try to get it out tomorrow so that you can at least have one day in the beta with it if you didn't know it already, uh, but here we go. 
50 points away from winning, and here is their final push, essentially. You can see it coming up on the mini-map. Um, I've got my Locust on the ridge. I'm going to drop another one in, and it's just... It's just a hellfire from our locust. I'm gonna drop, um, I dropped a marauder down there. Or no, I didn't actually drop it. I think I wanted to drop it. I didn't. Um, believe that's our locust or our. Oh my gosh, I'm screwing up names. Our um, scarab assault, and then I drop my scarab assault on top of them here, and that pretty much symbolizes GG. Uh, that's the second wipe of their army. They have one army sitting on A, but one army is not gonna beat three armies on B. Um, it's just not possible. So. Um, pretty much the full wipe there results in a GG. You can see our score climbing up. Uh, we're catching up only 30 back at this point. Um, and you can see this guy trying to uh, run his Reaver out of there. I think he actually did get it close, but I'm going to move my Scarab in on their spawn. Uh, you can see them trying to summon one final army, but I can move my Scarab Assault into there to distract them for even longer. There's, there's another one of my teammates Scarab Assaults, and we pretty much just ended the game right there. 15 points off and that is going to do it guys though we're gonna clean this game up they pushed on to be um with a crappy army and one invisible unit but it's gonna get reamed um by my honor guard and the locust and now i'm gonna push i'm gonna drop an honor guard here and move it right on into into uh, a to take that and secure our victory a little bit faster but guys, I hope you all enjoyed. That is going to be the 3v3 Shipmaster. We're going to clean this up. They're going to come and try to attack me, but it's not going to make any difference. And so that is the victory. We cleaned it up nice and easily from 197 to near nothing, all the way back to when it 200 to 197. You can see the crazy amount of energy we gained um, compared to theirs. Uh, but guys, that's going to do it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys with more Halo Wars uh, 2 beta videos in the future. Peace out.